the next texture that I'm going to work on will be a texture where there's kind of a positive space with the shape and then a negative space between the shapes. So something like, you know, a leopard spots or uh, a giraffe's pattern. So you have one part here. You can just start to make any shape. And you're trying to kind of fit your shapes together like a puzzle. Each shape I do is going to have this little tiny border between it and the other shapes that surround it. Still continue to make sure that you carry your texture all the way to the edge. Those little details really help to make it feel like a texture rather than just a design. So there you go. If you decided to fill in some of the insides with different colors or other patterns, you could definitely take this texture a step further.